Egypt's military troops are now unmatched in the known world. But the new pharaoh, Kazakimwe of the Second Dynasty, now also demands a powerful navy based at Vedette. Nothing less than a fleet of warships will suffice to allow us dominion over the high seas. But timber is scarce, as our climate supports only a few sparse areas of forest. Cedar may be imported at great cost from Byblos in the land of Lebanon to the northeast. Fortunately, exports of our native papyrus will provide a means of offsetting this expense. Hey guys, welcome back to my Pharaoh playthrough. My name is Zach and we're now on Bedet, Pharaoh's Navy. And looking at the ratings, we're not getting anything too uh, difficult out here, but it does seem like we're going to have to have some military warships on this. And we, if you've seen 7A, you've seen me do that. But let's go ahead and check out the map. Ah, uh, yeah, straight on the water, uh-huh, that's the same as before. Fishing, the Nile, yes, we're gonna have to fish on this mission. Building boats and ships, uh, same, okay, yes, we're gonna have to import some wood to get some warships down, though. So let's have a look around. We got, um, just some thin slivers of farmland, it seems not much at all. A few reeds on this far side, and... Honestly, not a lot of flat coast. Not not too much of that going around. A uh, nice fish over there, though, centralized, which is good. Uh, is there anything else on this map? I don't really see. Oh oh oh! There's some ore here. Uh, what what can we mine from this? Gold mines, and it looks like we can fit quite a lot of them around here. So that should be a great source of early income. But first, let's set up our residential areas. Looks like our main industry is going to be around this area. So we should have our residential blocks around here. So I'm going to go ahead and set those up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, there we go. I've gone straight into debt. Uh, but we've got our first residential block set up here. Two temples, so the two gods we got here. And as you can see, the gold mines are going around this side. And uh, they will deposit gold right here into this village palace. So let's just wait for people to move in. And hopefully uh, these gold mines will be able to get us enough income to get some uh, extra cash so we can start getting more stuff. But keep in mind, there's a lot more space for gold mines right here. Because uh, we, we've just done the outskirts, so we could get a lot more gold coming in here. Okay, there we go. We've started a little fishing area on this side because I'd like to start trying to evolve these houses now that we got some cash coming in here. Uh, building a road here might make that a little shorter for these guys. Um, we do need to drop down a couple of firehouses and architects posts here though. And that should deal with uh, any disasters. But uh, let's not do that. Uh, but that should help bring food right into this granary here, and then I can put down a market right here, and it's not too far away, which looks pretty good. Okay, looks like our money's shooting up, and, uh, we're still a little short on employees, though. So perhaps I could just go ahead and set up a second residential area so we have enough people to go around. Okay, there we go, lots more people coming into our city. Filling up our uh, jobs, which uh, should give us enough uh, people to start setting up some other industries. Our money's still going up, but I'd like to drop down a few more gold mines while we're at it. Just like this. We could squeeze a few more down here, actually. Just like that. And this should give us plenty of cash to do whatever we want to, really. Okay, looks like we got a nice supply of fish coming in, and not all of the boats have been built for these fishing wharves quite yet, so more food will come in soon. But let's drop down a couple bazaars so we can start distributing this food. Just to right here by the entrance, so the walking distance is as short as possible. We could also fit a few storage yards around here as well, actually, to make things a bit easier. Uh, but we'll leave that for later. We should start setting up our industries, though. <laughs> uh, just in time, it seems, because these people are requesting pots, and I have not started setting up my pottery industry at all. So let's go ahead and drop down 
a couple clay pits here and some workshops along the way as well. And since I'm getting these industries ready and my houses are starting to evolve down here, I think I should try set up a beer industry just uh, to get things going. Uh, yes. So let's try fit a couple barley farms down here. We don't need too many, maybe just four? Four should be good. And let's see if uh, this will work out well. I think it should be fine. Just like that. Get those four barley farms going and we can drop down a few breweries just along here. Um, yes, I think we can just squeeze them around the side like that. Ah, oh, Pharaoh is actually requesting beer. 1,112 months. I don't think I can produce that in 12 months. I've, I mean, I've started the industry, but um, that's a lot. Oh, my time has run out to deliver the pottery. Uh, well, they gave me another 24 months to do it. Um, I got one. <laughs> it's impossible to get pottery that quickly. Uh, well, anyway, I'm just building a couple of ferry landings here so I can cross these rivers. I'm just gonna drop down a couple houses while I'm here. And get things started on both sides of the river. Oh, uh, Ra doesn't seem to like me. Um, good thing I'm just deciding to drop down some of these temples. Uh, this should keep the gods happy. Our first batch of chickpeas also came in, but it seems like uh, it wasn't that much at all. But at least these breweries are working at full capacity. Actually, I could fit down quite a few more. Uh, let's go ahead and drop down some more of these breweries. I'm not sure if this will affect desirability a lot in the future, but let's see if we really need to move these later on. Okay, now the two sides have actually started going, and let's see if we can uh, try get a uh, placing for our warship wars. I'm thinking we need at least three of these things. Um, looks like we can fit two right here. Looks good. I could fit one more over on this side. Uh, maybe I can fit more fishing walls right there. Okay, I'm gonna put one right here. And have this road extend down to this. Have this road extend up this way. And this road can go over to here. And flames are sweeping through. Ah, that's not good. But a good flood's coming next year. I'm gonna have to put down a firehouse on this side. I think I can put it right there. And an architect's post just to be safe. Let's uh, let's hope that gets put out soon. Meanwhile, I can put down extra fishing wharves here. Just another two. It's, uh, well, it's better than nothing. Just to get a bit more fish over onto this side. But it does seem like we're not producing as much food as we need. Perhaps I can put down a few more chickpea farms on this side. And let's see how many, how many we can fit here. Okay, I'm really short on employees right now by 200 people, so I'm dropping down just some temporary housing on these outskirts while I get my industry going for reals. Um, this should be able to get me 200 workers once my food supply is sorted, I can start feeding this area and we'll be able to get things going a lot quicker. And it seems like my pottery and beer industry is going quite well as well, so that's good. And hitting 2,000 residents, perfect. Ah, there we go. I now have enough beer to send off to Pharaoh. Don't quite have enough pots yet, though. Um, I don't think I have enough employees to have these working at full capacity, that's why. Ah, Timna is asking for 1,300 fish. Uh, that's a little awkward considering I don't have enough fish to feed my own people. Uh, well hopefully this next harvest will bring in a whole bunch of chickpeas and we'll be able to feed our people with that instead. Perhaps I should look for other ways to start importing food. I know importing food didn't really work very well in Caesar 3, but let's see what we can import. Um, 
Menefa sells chickpeas. That could be pretty handy. Better than importing a, another source of... Uh, hmm. Another type of food. No, well, we can try importing chickpeas. It's a water trade route, though. I haven't built a dock. I'm gonna have to do that. Well, let's try to do that. We'll open that. And we'll try import chickpeas as best as we can. Let's just import to maintain that and see how it goes. Ah, oh, there we go. We have enough pots to send off to uh, Pharaoh or whoever wants those. Now, these fish. Um, I haven't started importing chickpeas because I wanted to wait till the f next harvest. And here comes a whole bunch of chickpeas. So let's see if it actually manages to fill up two warehouses. If it manages to do that, I think we'll be okay. And we could uh, start stockpiling some fish over here. Yes, we can try that. And looks like we've got quite a supply of chickpeas this time around. So we should be fine. Let's try stockpiling fish then. Ah, there we go. Very quickly we had enough fish to send it off. So now we can stop stockpiling that. And stop accepting fish over here. There we go, empty that out. And now I've got to find a place to place a dock. So actually, there was a nice spot over here. I destroyed one fishing wharf, which I could actually probably shift over there. Have this road extend like that. And place a dock right here. Looks like I've got to move this road a bit. Uh, it looks like the next flood's not going to be so good. We're going to have to get that sorted. But there we go, we can fit a dock right there. Very nice. And from... but then... Maybe that's not the best place to put it. How about we put the dock over on this side? And we'll put the shipwright on this side. There, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? And actually to sort this out a bit, we should probably put the shipwright... Um, on the far side. And the fishing wharf closer like that. This should be more efficient. Yeah, that looks good. It's starting to look like I don't have to export anything on this mission. These gold mines are getting us plenty of cash and it doesn't even seem like we've filled this up very much. We've only done maybe about half of what we can do, but our money's still going up, so that's good. And it looks like we can clear some of this up, really. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. We don't need so many potters over here. And we probably don't need this many breweries either. There we go, we're starting to import some chickpeas and that should be able to supplement our food supply. Which means I can now put down two more bazaars on this side and start feeding these people so I can demolish these outskirt uh, population booster houses. Also, while I'm at this, I might as well open up the trade route with Biblos. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll import just a little bit of wood, like 200, so we can get our warships set up, because we're going to need those in case we ever get attacked. So might as well set those up and protect our waterways now. Okay, there we go. We're filling up our storage yards and granaries full of chickpeas. Um, that looks like it's going along very nicely. We could set this to get maximum as well, to get in all of these chickpeas from the storage yard into the, gr uh, the actual granary. And I also think I could try fit in a few more chickpea farms over on this, the, the other side of the river, which might be able to supplement our food supply even more. But now that we've got that sorted, and lots more people should be moving in... Uh, oh, we actually have unemployment now. So we can now destroy all of these outskirt cities. Oh, well, outskirt houses. Yes, yes. And now we can focus on evolving these two areas, which shouldn't be any problem. Okay, there we go. We're starting to evolve all these houses. They're asking for more entertainment. I just put down a conservatory and dance school, so that should sort that out. And now we got a flood of new people coming in, but it doesn't seem like... Uh, we have enough food. We better start trying to put a few more farms over on this side. 
Okay, look at these. These houses are evolving magnificently, though it does make me worried about my food supply. I don't think I can produce much more food after squeezing in a few more... Uh, a few more farms on this side. I gotta make sure Osiris is happy. Let's throw a festival for him. Osiris, lavish festival. At, uh, let's throw a grand festival. Just cause, you know, I have the beer to spare. Perhaps I could import even more food. Uh, let's see where else. I guess I could import figs. Let's just do that. Uh, let's click to import. Also maintain 1,600. Maybe a supply of figs will help uh, get enough uh, food to support all of these people. <laughs> and my population has reached 3,000. Do I have unemployment? I do have massive unemployment. So just for fun for now, uh, let's put down a bunch more gold mines. Ah, oh, Pharaoh wants me to send him 800 pots as well. So yeah, go ahead and have that. We got plenty of those to go around. Uh, meanwhile, looks like I've managed to fit in a bunch more gold mines like this. And this should be perfect. We'll just drop down a couple houses here and then a couple firehouses as well. Oh, it seems like a Nubian army is actually going to approach my city within 18 months. Um, Nubia's down here. But I've already got the three warships going, so I should be fine. There we go. I'm sure. Yeah, one, two, three. I got three warships. Good. So let's... Uh... Ooh, are the gods happy? Let's make sure... Resentful Ra. I wonder why. Let's just drop down a few more temples to make sure they stay happy. Oh, it looks like that festival to Osiris is going on, and you can see all those priests uh, and dancers and entertainers buzzing around the festival square. Hopefully that pleases Osiris so he gives me a, a perfect flood or something because I need uh, some food to come in here. Ah, the next inundation will be significantly better. Well, that's better than nothing. Meanwhile, I think I should start worrying about building my medium mastaba which I think I can just put right back there. I don't have a lot of bricks, but I could start importing them. I just have to... let's see... I can extend this road out this way to facilitate everything I need. I'll just put down a couple houses and get things started here. Oh! Uh, Pharaoh is actually happy and wants to give me a bunch of bricks, so uh, we just don't have a warehouse set up for that. So let's get that set up. We just need a couple... I think I can put down two storage yards, which are dedicated just for bricks. And one more here. Set that up. Make sure these houses don't get sick. And then we can also drop down... let's see... We'll need two bricklayers guilds. And then we can drop down a couple extra work camps since we have some unemployment. Yes, 5% unemployment, so that should deal with that. And looks like we got a bunch of chickpeas coming in, and hopefully this is enough to... Uh, some from this side as well. Hopefully it's enough to um, supply us with enough food for the next year. And now that we got that set down, we can... Uh, let's see... Drop down our medium masaba... Oh, except these bricks, lovely. And we can drop down our medium master bar right at the back here. Uh, yes, I think just there will do fine. There we go. And we can get things started on our medium master bar. And we can also start importing bricks while we're at it. No, we don't want to export, we want to import. Uh, just to maintain... I don't know how much we should... Uh, we'll just maintain 10,000. Since this master bar is going to take about 20,000, I think. Yeah, 24,000. So we'll uh, import to maintain 10,000 bricks, which... Yeah, we don't even have space for that much anyway. There we go. Lots of chickpeas to go around. The market ladies are going crazy. Hopefully that's enough uh, chickpeas to uh, <laughs> feed our people for another year. Uh, the fish does help. It does help uh, supply 
food year round. And we're importing chickpeas as well, so that's always good. Uh, oh, but there we go. All these workmen are off to uh, set the foundations. Are we short on employees? No, not really. 16 people. So this should go along quite quickly. As long as we keep our tributes going and keep Pharaoh happy, we should get a lot of gifts of uh, bricks. And the Nubian army will be here in a year. So we'll deal with that when that gets here. Oh no, there's not going to be a flood at all this year. I mean, I'm keeping Osiris happy. Benevolent, I mean... Osiris is definitely pleased with me. It's just I don't know... How to get it to flood. Ah, oh, the next inundation will be better than previously expected. Hopefully that means there will be some kind of flood at all, rather than none. The fertility on these farms is dropping quite a bit. Oh, I just remembered to put down a personal mansion. I promised myself that I'd remember this time. Oh well, at least I'll uh, be able to get some pay on this mission while these, this monument gets built. Hmm, for some reason my fish supply has started to increase. I'm not exactly sure why. Nothing's really changed, and I haven't been importing chickpeas. There's no storage of chickpeas in these marketplaces, but they're all full on fish. Have people just started eating less? That's a little weird. I'm not exactly sure why, but um, fish supply is going good, so that's good. See, I mean, there's even fish hanging around here. Well, let's uh, make some space for some backup fish, in case we need any. Ah, the Nubian uh, invading army is going to be here in one month. I just realized I didn't build a land force. If they happen to attack from right here, or right down here, I'm going to be so screwed. Um, but I do have these warships, so that, uh, if they come from sea, these three warships should be able to deal with them. Uh, you can also see I got a bit of a papyrus industry here, in case Pharaoh decides to ask for some of that. I just put down one reed gatherer, who has to walk all the way over here to get it. But never mind. Oh, here they are, the Nubians are here. Where are they coming from? They're, ah, they're down here. Okay, let's get our boats over here. And, okay, they should have an enemy transport warship. Okay, we want to target the transport if possible. There we go. You attack that and you also try get that as well and you can attack one of the warships. You can attack uh, this guy here. A uh, bit hard to target these things. There we go. Attack that. Actually, he's got a command. Seek and destroy all enemies. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Let's see if this works. We'll speed it up. Hopefully our warships are better than theirs. It does look better. That's the enemy transport. Yes, come on. Take out the transport. Yes, transport's down. Now you can seek and destroy all enemies. You as well. Now take them out. It's three versus two and we shouldn't have any problem. And their warships do look a little bit smaller than ours. Oh, they do buzz around really quickly at normal speed. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, okay, there's one left. Oh, he's actually gone back to get repaired. That's pretty cool. Um, you, what are you doing? Mop him up. Oh, a bit glitching out there. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Now, oh, you can go get yourself repaired as well. And you don't need any, so return to Wharf. There we go, the military part of this mission dealt with no problem. And our boats are being repaired. Oh, that should take one by one units when being repaired. That's pretty cool. Um, meanwhile, our city is looking good, fish supply is looking good. Our Mastaba is on its second layer, still quite a ways to go. But if Pharaoh uh, asks for a few things and we provide it, then that should be easy peasy. There, we actually didn't need so much gold, so I destroyed a few gold mines here because I was a little short on employees. So that's sorted out. I mean, we got almost, uh, well, we're, well, we're approaching 50,000 uh, here, so we don't really need any more cash. Um, 
We mainly need to just import bricks, and that seems to be taking quite a while. Yes, I think since the fish supply has stabilized, we can stop importing chickpeas and uh, figs. That's not really helping at all, is it? Let's stop importing chickpeas and figs so our dock can focus on importing the bricks, which we really do need a lot more. Oh, that's good. Pharaoh's actually asking for 900 papyrus. Um, and the next flood's gonna be better. 900 papyrus is kind of a ways away. Perhaps I could get down another uh, papyrus maker here. Yeah, that should be able to sort out our pap papyrus supply. Now, I just realized I haven't involved these houses. Uh, and it's because they're asking for a courthouse, and it looks like this is another mission which doesn't give you a courthouse. I don't see a courthouse right here anyway. Um, so if I do want to boost my population, I can actually fit more houses in the center here. But I think we're doing fine as is, because I don't really need any more people on this mission. Too many mouths to feed. And we can always destroy more of these gold mines if we ever need more employees. Okay, there we go. We have 900 papyrus, which, uh, yes, that's right. We can send it off to Pharaoh, and he should give us a gift of bricks so we can continue building this uh, mustaba a little bit quicker. I think this is pretty much the last thing we have to do. All my other ratings are looking fine. Kingdom should go up over time with a few more requests. Prosperity culture's fine. So it's just this monument to go, uh, so let's speed it up and see how fast we can do that. Ah, oh, there we go. A nice gift of 2,500 bricks. Let's accept that. And if we get enough of those, we could get this thing done really quickly. Oh, one of our clay pits has suffered a terrible flood. <laughs> yes, I remember these from uh, Caesar 3. They happened all the time. Uh, let's just put that right back down. There we go. Some of these houses devolved. Why? Supply of beer. That's a point. Because of the bad harvest, my beer supply actually went down a bit. Well, hopefully we can get that back soon enough. Ah, Pharaoh wants 1,000 pottery. We can dispatch that immediately. And... Yes, another gift or so should uh, get our master bar done. Um, my popular... Yeah, we're, we're short on employees, but not too badly. These houses devolved because my beer supply ran out. It's just bad floods year after year. Maybe I can import beer. That could, uh... We need to open a trade route to import it. I'm sure someone sold it. Who sold beer? There we go, Necken. A land trade route. Let's open that. And import beer. Uh, yes, maintain that. So if we don't have beer, we'll just buy it in. And that should sort out that problem. Oh, would you look at that? Three loads more and this medium master bar is gonna be complete. And do we have three loads of bricks? I think we do. Or almost, anyway. 1,200 bricks. That should be enough. Uh, either way, we're still importing to maintain that much. Um, we can start emptying these out. There we go, one more load onto this mastaba, and here it comes. This should win us the mission. Come on, drag those bricks up there, lay them down. And here we go. The last brick has been laid in place, and the work on the mastaba is now complete. So we should be winning this mission anytime now. Uh, it should be soon. Our ratings all should be fine. Oh, our kingdom rating is not quite there. Our monument rating should jump up when we get there. Come on, the monument's done. Our monument rating can't be that low. Let's just speed it up a bit and see if it increases. There we go. Now, kingdom rating, we just need to send a gift. Let's send a Babylonian tablet, 58. We'll dispatch that. And uh, kingdom rating's one short. Maybe we can send one more. Now the Persian carpets, let's dispatch that. There we go, 45. So once I click this button, we should win! There we go, victory! Proceed. Pharaoh is pleased. You have mastered the seas and river and make good use of the resources they offer. The mighty navy you built patrols the waterways, securing our borders. 
<laughs> I wouldn't quite call it a mighty navy, but thanks for the compliment anyway. That mission went significantly easier than I expected. It actually went not too bad and pretty quickly. I might be getting the hang of this game. Ah, well, anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.